those three together in a stressful environment, they're going to end up hating each other by the end of it. It's the beginning of week two. Where are we going again? Go down. And Chloe, Chantelle and Marie Claire, this week travelling and living as a separate group to the boys, are keen to leave Bandung and begin their journey to the next destination, planning to cram in as many activities as possible once they arrive. What are the classes? There's three. This week, both groups must travel to destination two. Solo, a scenic town on the outskirts of historical city Yogyakarta. Week 2's travel challenge is to reach their destination with only a fraction of their belongings carried in a small backpack. If they quit the challenge or fail to reach Solo by the end of the week, they will be fined 25% of their individual travel budgets for the following week. Along the way, each group must try and have the best adventure possible because when they meet, they must try to outdo each other with their travel stories. Oh my days. Afterwards, based on what they've heard, they must individually vote for who they think has stood out as the Traveller of the Week, rewarding that person with 50% more money on their budget as a result. I wonder what he's expecting, to be honest. Nathan and Andrew, still in Bandung, anticipate the arrival of a new fellow traveller who'll join their group for the rest of the week. I wonder if he slept. Oh no, oh, I don't think so. He's probably like expecting to be in a nice hotel or something tonight. Like, I'm in the train for 10 hours, mate. Happier to remain as a twosome, both boys are concerned that the new traveller might not be on their wavelength, putting them at a disadvantage in the competition. I hope the new arrival's all right because I think that we did have a week to form bonds and get to know each other and stuff and get to know what each other likes and things like that, but I hope they don't come in and shake it up and just cause risk between people and that. Coming up, the boys finally meet their new travel companion. Oh my God. And the girls struggle to get along. So if I want to do something, and you're moaning about the rain. Why can't we just discuss it? We are discussing it. I'm not excited, but I'm curious to see what he's like and if he'll fit in with the group. But I guess we'll find out any minute now. Yep, we'll do this, man. Unaware of where the girls are or what they are doing, Nathan and Andrew are in Bandung, waiting for the arrival of their new travel companion and replacement for Gareth, who left prematurely last week. Following an 11-hour flight from the UK and a 10-hour car journey from Jakarta, 24-year-old barman Lewis Wallace from Leeds is about to join the competition. Pretty apprehensive about backpacking, to be honest. Just going to have to get stuck in, see how it goes. The type of person I'd not like to be travelling with would be someone that's really bossy. Although I'd like to be organised, I don't want to be told all the time what to do, so that would really annoy me. Oh my god. What's happening? Hiya. Hi, mate. You right? How you doing? Lewis. How you doing? What's your name? Lewis. Lewis, I'm Nathan. Andrew. Andrew, how you right. doing? You alright? So, yeah, how you feeling? Uh, about yeah, being out here. Uh, pretty nervous. The new guy. There's a group of girls out there somewhere doing the same sort of thing as us, but we had to split up yesterday. With pleasantries exchanged, Nathan is determined to get new boy Lewis to think about the competition and fills him in about this week's travel challenge. There's a task here. You, you, you've got to take everything that you need for the week in one of these little one-day bags. Right. And if we don't pass that, we're getting 25% less budget, so... Uh. And you're not allowed to fail because then we lose money, which is obviously not an option. Right. We've yeah. got to get a 10-hour train drive as well, so... <laughs> it's not looking good tonight, <laughs> but... Yeah. First right. things first, you actually need to sort your bag out now. Oh, my Sounds God. Sounds good, mate. Choose carefully, mate, because we're going to be struggling. I'll leave my uh, airline pillow then. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely it. not something you need. First impressions, he seems like a nice guy. I think he'll be a better travelling companion than Gareth. I think anyone's a better travelling companion than Gareth because Gareth can't travel, so... That's us, boys. We've got to get our ticket. tickets in, yeah? Having broken the news to new boy Lewis that he can't travel with his large backpack, the boys begin their long journey to Yogyakarta. Uh, they seem uh, very different. Uh, Cockney, bit of a Cockney geezer and uh, American... Seems like a super jock type guy. All, all three of us seem quite different, so quite, quite interesting. With a 10-hour journey ahead of them, Andrew shows Lewis their basic guidebook and informs him that, as a group, they need to have impressive stories to tell the girls when they all meet up at the end of the week. Basically, we've got to get from Lembang, where we were before we met you, through down to Solo. We need to achieve as much as we can travel-wise, 
because at the meeting you have to say what you've done throughout the week and why you should be travel of the week for the extra budget. Yeah. So it's not just getting there, we've got to do things along the way. Mm. You're up for sharing a room with us too, I assume, to save some money. Yeah, yeah. The boys, now settled into their long journey to Yogyakarta, want to find out as much as they can about their new travel companion, Lewis. What did you do back in England? I'm Work? a barman at the moment. I uh, just finished uni. I uh, did marketing at uni. Marketing? I work in marketing. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah, how old are you? 24? Yeah. Wow. You well, yeah. Well, yeah, thanks. I thought I was the granddad. I was 21 and I was the oldest. <laughs> you got a girlfriend back in England? Uh, yeah, I've got a girlfriend. Uh, been with about two and a half years. Really? Yeah. Uninterested yeah. in what the girls look like then? Uninterested, yeah. That's good news for me. <laughs> do you like any of the girls? Like, here we are. Here? Do I like any of the girls here? You get on well with them, you know? I do. Who do uh, you like? Uh, there's uh, some girl Marie Claire I like. I think she's a proper nice girl and that, so... No, she's not a proper nice girl. So... Oh, That's what it is. You, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's your words, mate, not mine, man. Right? <laughs> Having admitted for the first time that he likes Marie Claire, Nathan is relieved to hear that new boy Lewis won't be vying for her attention when they meet up with the girls at the end of the week. Yeah, I'm proper pleased with Lewis. I think, I think he's proper sweet and that. I think, he, I think I'll get along with him perfect and that. I was, I was worried for nothing, and I think we're gonna have a good week this time. With views like this, it's gonna be brilliant. So, it's, I'm looking forward to this week now, which I didn't think I would yesterday. So, this is brilliant. Buddhist temple here. Nigeria, isn't it? It's morning in Yogyakarta, and despite arriving late last night, the boys, who are determined to outdo the girls this week by cramming in as much sightseeing as possible, are up early. Can you take us there on a bus? Andrew takes charge and organises a day trip to Borobudur Temple, Yogyakarta's popular tourist attraction, famed for its breathtaking sunsets. Like undiscovered for years, man. I find that fascinating. You know, these boys ever been to any temples right here? Neither have I. Definitely my first temple. I went to a Hindu temple in Wembley, but uh, <laughs> it's nothing special, so. And it didn't lay undiscovered for years, so. After 20 minutes, the boys arrive at the ancient Buddhist temple and are blown away by its size and beauty. That looks bad, boys, mate. Wow. Massive. Oh, oh. That is serious. What's it for? Praying? Someone live in this? Yeah, I'd say a temple probably would be for praying. Right? <laughs> <laughs> While the boys explore the temple, Oh, it's steep. <laughs> On the outskirts of the city, the boys who have been at the temple for almost three hours are still finding new things to see while they wait for the sunset. This must have taken ages to do. hundred years at least. Hey, someone read the book. <laughs> <laughs> Statues. People hiding inside. Statues inside. There you go. It's my good luck for the trip. Does that give you good luck? Yeah, I'm doing that. I need a bit of good luck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't hurt. If you touch the nipple, you get extra. <laughs> oh, my God. That cloud. That's a cloud from, from hell. And they get absolutely soaked. Oh, no. <laughs> Before long, and as predicted, it starts to pour down with rain. Yeah, I mean, the sunset's amazing. It's the best sunset ever. It's the most beautiful ever. sunset I've ever seen. Oh. Looks like an English sunset to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the boys, who are getting on well, don't let it dampen their spirits. I think the girls are probably back in their hotel, chilling out. Thinking um, about us out in this rain. We won't know where we are, will we? Oh, they'll know we're out in the rain. <laughs> I'm pleased I came to the temple, but... I'm not pleased about the rain. I'm, I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen it rain this much in my life. It ruined it a little bit, but I'm still glad I seen the temple. At least we've um, been travelling hard. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Too thick and thin. Yeah, I'm pleased Lewis has joined the group, to be honest. I weren't really looking forward to a new person joining the group at first, but he's always up for a laugh and stuff. I think he's the sort of person I'd get along with back at home, so I'm glad he's come, and I think it'll make our group stronger, to be honest. I think we should get out of here before this collapses. I know. Ah, oh, my trainers! It's annoying! After the break... Hey guys, I can't do this if you're going to chat, sorry. 
Chloe reaches the end of her tether. I'm really, I'm about to just blow my top now. And the boys will stop at nothing to outdo the girls this week. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> I'm done then, man. You've done it, see? And boys... You've got to check out in our file, right? ..must gather in solo and tell each other about their respective adventures. Afterwards, based on the stories heard, they must individually vote for Traveller of the Week. After an early rise, the girls have managed to squeeze in a trip to Bora Badur Temple. And are now on their way to Solo, the final destination for both groups this week. Surely they're not real. <laughs> the boys, on a mission to do as much as they can in Yogyakarta before they head to Solo themselves, have already explored a nearby animal market. I don't see why they hang upside down. And tried their hand at a traditional batik art class. Mine's the best, isn't it? <laughs> now looking for somewhere to eat... Yeah. Right, I'm going to get a milkshake, please. Nathan heads off for some home comforts, while Andrew, who is determined to have more cultural experiences than the girls, persuades Lewis to join him for some real Indonesian cuisine. I think you'll learn more about the cuisine in these kind of places than you would in the top restaurants of Indonesia, really. I think overall you'll probably get better food here. It's just finding the right one. Be hit and miss. And this one's good, so we're all right. The girls, especially Chloe, um, can't live without their modern Western comforts. They have to have air conditioning. Yeah. They won't get a room without um, hot water. And they're really, really strict on it. Oh, dear. It's a shame, really. We'll, like, they, we'll they, change that, we'll change that. Well, they definitely wouldn't eat in place of this. They'd have to be convinced. Yo, yo, yo. Good. After eating, Andrew and Lewis meet back up with Nathan. So 30 for two, yeah? Yeah. And yeah. together they hire two rickshaws. 10, 10, 10, yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 10, 10, 10. Yeah. yeah okay. At a bartered price of about 60 pence per person to take them to the station to catch a train to Solo. <laughs> How are you feeling about the competition, Lewis? Um, I'm not really feeling like that competitive, really. Don't, when you first get it, don't seem like... Uh, when you get to the first meeting, you'll think, oh, yeah. it is a bit of a competition. Yeah. En route, Nathan talks to Lewis about how he hopes to convince some of the girls to vote for him as Traveller of the Week when they gather at tomorrow's meeting. You need to win it. Oh, I'd like to win it, there's no doubt about that. I think anyone who says they wouldn't is yeah. a liar, so that's why I want to get some stuff to show them. Yeah. Because yeah. then there's no way that they can say that we've, we've lied about anything. Don't get, don't get it twisted, we will. Twist a little bit of yeah. truth sometimes. The sunset maybe. at the temple was yeah. amazing. Oh. Yeah, we've got to say that, yeah. <laughs> If only we had a camera, eh? <laughs> 35. With the competition on his mind... Oh, come 35. That would last. <laughs> yeah? Ah, oh, thank you. Nathan persuades the boys to make an unscheduled stop to make a purchase, costing £2 that he hopes will impress the girls when they eventually gather in solo. What is it? It's a hat fan. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, one of the, I'm, I'm a right tourist today, boys. How do I look like? We've got, um... There's no ramping with that. <laughs> Let me see the ramping. <laughs> I look sick. <laughs> it's evening and the boys arrive in Solo. How much? Okay, then Graham, grab your cushion. It's got to be ten. After okay. some money saving bartering by Andrew, they take a taxi to a nearby hostel. Uh, how are you? You have rooms? Yeah. After Andrew negotiates another good and deal. Can you put beds down for us? Oh, yes. The boys don't hang around and head out in search of more adventure. Uh, give me a drive. Which they find in the form of a cobra restaurant. This is basically a shack. Oh, they look massive. They're serious animals, man. Yeah. How much? Barapa Haganya? How much? Yeah, 25. See that? I understand that, yeah. Yeah. Cobra is sold throughout Indonesia in specialised restaurants like this one. The blood and flesh are traditionally used as medicine and are thought to increase virility. Yeah. Oh, That's my one. Whoa. Oh. I'm moving back from that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I like this. This guy's bad. Ah! Look You're crazy, tasty. man. The snake killed quickly and humanely, the boys will now have the chance to drink its blood. If you drink that, you're the man, Nathan. I'm not even on that. I'm not even on that. I'm drinking that, bro. You're crazy, G. You're going to spit it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Yeah, me. Respect. Bad boys. Well it's well bad boys. Well I don't care about that, man. What the blood taste like? It's nice, bro. What does it taste like? It just tastes like 
the drink that you put in there and mix it with a little bit of blood. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to describe, mate. Bon appetit. <laughs> don't drink it like don't, that. Uh, don't savour it. <laughs> it is rank. That <laughs> no, ain't. It is rank. <laughs> don't no, front. Don't Do you know why I didn't think it was that rank? Because I'm... You downed it. I, I tasted mine. I know, it's on It's the thick. Sound. It's oh. really thick. <laughs> Cheers. Down it. Oh, well done then, man. You've done it, see? <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. You reckon? <laughs> I didn't think really so. Really nice, thanks. This is horrible. Uh, can I have it fried? Fried, yes? Yeah. Fried, yeah? Nazi. Go around. Go around. Oh, go around, yeah. Go around. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, that's all right, actually. Satay. Whatever. Satay. Yeah, satay, yeah, yeah. Satay. Whatever. Thank you. Tarima Kasi. Nice. Let me try one. Go on. Safe. Bad. <laughs> oh, my day. Bad as in good. Bad as in good. Proper chewy. Quite pork like. Thank you. Get another spoon. Let's have a taste of the fried. Go for it, bro. It's tough. Uh, it's really tough. It's like. Isn't, it's like no other meat. It's like dry chicken. Can I keep. Can I take the skin? Having eaten the cobra, the boys collect the skins, planning to show them off to the girls at the meeting tomorrow. Thank you, Tarima Kasi. When it dries out, it'll be wicked. It'll be a nice so. belt. Yeah. In the bag. <laughs> That's the best thing we've done on the trip so far, I think. <laughs> Without a doubt, mate. I reckon the girls will be impressed with us at this meeting, boys. I don't think the girls will be impressed. I think Chloe will try and give us some animal rights speech uh. and discuss why. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, how did you even... You drank the blood. Oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> that's what Chloe's going to do. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. A chicken gets killed before it's eaten. A pig gets killed before it's eaten. A cow gets killed before it's eaten. There's nothing wrong with killing a cobra before it's eaten. I saw nothing against that. Cobra would kill you in a heartbeat if it had the chance and it, and it wanted to. So, fair's fair. Okay, Cobra crew, well done. Job done. Let's go. While well, the boys return to their hotel, happy they've crammed as much as possible into their week. <laughs> On the other side of Solo, the travel-weary girls, who have chosen to spend the day relaxing at their hotel, rather than exploring the rich local culture, decide to order a takeaway and stay in for the night. It's morning, and later today, both groups will gather for the end of week meeting. Well, today's the only day where I've been looking for clean clothes. It's been back to basics, but not too bad. I think the task's been easy enough, and I'm glad we're going to have our 25%. This week, Nathan feels he's made a real effort to impress his fellow backpackers and hopes that he will be voted Traveller of the Week at today's meeting. I think this week has gone quicker than I expected, and... I'll be happy to see how everyone else is doing, ask a few questions and stuff, to hear their stories. I definitely want to be Traveller of the Week this week, and I think, out of our group, I think I've definitely done the best out of everyone. Like, I said it to them boys as well, but I think I've tried to speak Indonesian, I've got the hat and everything, but, yeah, I think I really deserve to be Traveller of the Week this week. One hour later, both groups set off for Chandi Suku, a 15th century Hindu temple on the outskirts of Solo, for their second official end of week meeting. You look a bit nervous there, A bit worried, a bit worried. All of them are aware that in six weeks' time, only one of them can be voted the ultimate traveller and take home the £10,000 prize money. But today, they must decide as individuals who has been the best traveller this week. Yeah, the girls are just going to vote for the girls again. Yeah. While this has no bearing on the final outcome of the competition, the winner will receive 50% extra on their budget for the coming week. Eager to meet new boy Lewis, the girls arrive at the temple first. New person. Exciting. New person. Too exciting. Some big steps. <laughs> yes, girls. He's hot. Hey! Hi, new person! Hi! <laughs> I love the hat! I know, and it's quality. Love it. it. So, new person, what's your name? Lewis. Hi! Hi! <laughs> right, guys, I travelled the week last week. Um, I'm chairing the meeting today. Woo! So, tell us how your week's been without us. 
Um, I tried to be as welcoming as I could be to Lewis, generally making sure we all had a good time and getting where we needed to get. We went to that Buddha Burr temple. Uh, temple. And then we went bird to market. the bird market. Oh, I went on a little bit of a tourist spree this week. I bought me hat. We went to do the traditional batik painting. Yeah. You used to do that, girls. I thought you used to do that. That would have been lovely. Yeah, yeah, that would have been so good. Yeah. I was thrown in at the deep end, met two new guys in a random place, ate snake, which I'm really fussy eater, so that was quite a big one. And drank the blood. Drank the blood. Mm. We've got some skin. Do you want to get the skin out? I'm pouring it out because they stink. <gasps> is that real? That's the skin of the snakes we ate. It's real. That is actually mean. Oh. Did they kill them in front of you? What they did is the guy... Oh, don't tell me. I don't oh. want to know, thanks. We had a really, really good week. I haggled room prices down this week. We got our room cheaper than we should have done. We went to this sort of like puppet making workshop and then we went to Borobudur and we loved that, didn't we girls? And we came to Solo and we decided to have a night of luxury. The hotel we stayed in as well on Saturday and Sunday night we had swimming pool and we used it. It's we not did. about swimming pools, it's about cultural experience. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a characteristic thing, eh? It was, it had yeah, all the Buddhas and stuff outside. Yeah. Both groups have now told the story of their week, giving each person the opportunity to make a case for why they should be named Traveller of the Week. But who will it be? Coming up... The six are shocked when they discover week three's travel challenge. This will make us proper travellers. If we get there on time, we can say we are proper travellers. And Andrew's worried that his new group might hinder his chances in the competition. I'm not looking forward to the week ahead. I'm not looking forward to the group I'm with. I've got the boring group, definitely. They've been gathered at Chandi Suku Temple on the outskirts of Solo for just over an hour. Each of them has the opportunity to convince the others that, as well as being in the most adventurous group, they, more than anyone else, deserve to be named Traveller of the Week. Now, it's decision time. We'll start with you, Andrew. I'm going to vote for Nathan because he drank that blood first, and I was ultimately impressed. So, Nathan gets my vote. Um, Lewis, I'm voting for you because I feel that it must have been pretty tough coming into a group of people who already knew each other and just I feel like it would be a nice welcome thing for you, so I vote for you. This week I'm going to vote for the person who I think um, integrated the best into the culture and the people like of Indonesia, so my vote this week goes to Nathan. Thank you. This week I'm going to vote for Andrew because he's always up for everything. He, he just wants to get the job done like me. I reckon he's been a pretty good traveller as well. Um, this week I am going to vote for Andrew. I've missed like his leadership and organisational qualities, so I vote for Andrew. So far, Lewis has one vote, while Andrew and Nathan are tied on two votes each. Lewis is the last person to vote. It's between Nathan's enthusiasm for the week and uh, Andrew's organisation, getting us places, taxis, bartering with the hotel, things like that, so... I'm going to go for Andrew. <laughs> so with three votes, this week's Travel of the Week goes to Andrew. Because Andrew has been named Traveller of the Week, he'll have an extra 500,000 rupiah in his budget for the coming week, giving him almost £30 more money to spend than his fellow travellers. I expected to get a vote off Nathan, and I thought it was, you know, it was doable to get a vote off Lewis, and then I just knew that if one of the girls would vote for me, then I'd get it. So it was down to the girls, really, and it, it paid off. They did vote for us, which was good. Now time for Marie Claire to announce their next destination, a new travel challenge. We must travel from here to Bali. Nice. <laughs> via Mount Bromo without the use of guidebooks or maps. What? Uh, <laughs> if anyone fails to reach Bali on time or uses a map or guidebook while travelling, their entire group will be fined 25% of their budget. Easily doable. I've done harder things in my life. But before they can set off, the six must now agree on the two new groups for the coming week. Um, I'd really like to get to know the new traveller, so I would like to be in a group with Lewis. I'd like to be in Mary Claire's group. <laughs> Anyone else have any preferences? Is there any way of deciding, or are we just going to have to? 
Okay, shall I, shall I just, shall I just decide? This week, why don't we go myself, Lewis, Andrew, and then you guys have Mary Claire, Chantal, and Nathan. Does that kind of make you everything all right? I'm oh, happy, but probably everyone else saying that is so. No, I'm happy. No, everyone's yeah. fine. Right, guys, let's get going. I did want to be in Mary Claire's group because I do fancy her, to be honest, and I like her as a person, and she's funny as well, so, yeah, I think that's why I'm glad that I'm in her group, to be honest. Bye, guys! Bye! Yeah. Bye! With the meeting concluded, the two groups go their separate ways to begin their journey to the next destination. One of my slight concerns is that Andrew and Lewis, as boys, won't mind sleeping in very cheap, cheap hostels, whereas I really do mind that and if I have to cause a tantrum and scream then I will <laughs> to get a nice good night's sleep. I'm not looking forward to the week ahead, I'm not looking forward to the group I'm with. Um, I don't enjoy Chloe's company really, um, she's really very reserved, quite, you know, she's, she's not fun like the other girls are so I've got the boring group definitely.